Hi everyone, my name is Vicki and I'm here to provide you with a quick overview of Ohio University and what we've got to offer you. So thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, just to start off with some background information, uh, we were founded in 1804. So as you would expect, uh, with that kind of a history, we've got a really long legacy of academic excellence. But one of the things we never stop focusing on is the future and specifically your future at Ohio University. Having been founded in 1804, we are one of the oldest public universities in the United States, and we're categorized as a tier one highest activity research institution. And we'll talk about why that matters to you as a prospective undergraduate student in a minute, because in a lot of large research universities, that's something for masters and PhD students, but not at Ohio University. Being Midwesterners, we're not really big on bragging, but we are very proud of having been ranked number one for student satisfaction, because it means that our students are really happy with the entire Ohio University experience. Now, our undergraduate population is about 15,000 students with a total population of about 22,000 students on campus. And while that may sound like a fairly big institution, it really functions much more like a small, tight-knit community. And it's really difficult to walk across campus without seeing someone that you know from classes, clubs, you name it, you're going to know people around campus. Now to talk a little bit about where we're located, which is in Athens, Ohio. You may never have heard of Athens, Ohio, but our location there really provides you with an ideal setting for you as a student. So first, we're in this dynamic and economically important state just on the edge of the Midwestern US. As you can see from the slide, home to more than 20 Fortune 500 companies, great manufacturing hub, retail hub. So lots of really great important things going on economically in the state of Ohio. And we're also in close proximity to a lot of um, major metro areas like Columbus and Cleveland, Cincinnati, Washington, DC. And what that means for you is that you're also in close proximity to a lot of internship options as well as lots to do. Now, maybe a small college town it is it is on the map socially politically culturally all the ways that you would expect for the home of a major research university but in a smaller kind of more user-friendly setting that still has its own really distinctive flavor we've got great local uptown eateries um, most of them using locally sourced ingredients great coffee shops um, music scene and everything that you need as a student is really easily accessible, which is probably why we've been named best college small town in the US and best college town in the state of Ohio. So the campus, as you see, and has been recognized for its beauty, but the area surrounding Athens is also amazing. So we've got several state parks, a national forest, an amazing bike path that runs through the entire region. Um, in terms of weather, you do get the fun of experiencing all four seasons, but in an overall temperate climate. So that means um, not the bitter cold that you might find in some of the more northern states or northern countries to the north of us as, that, as far as that goes, but enough snow to be pretty and just to enjoy. Um, and then you can, in this picture, you can see just how amazing the campus looks in the springtime where we've got hundreds of cherry blossoms in bloom all over campus. It's amazing. Another great thing about being in a small college town like Athens is the low cost of living. So it's a really reasonably priced place to be um, and it helps save some funds for you that way. Now, in terms of academics, for undergraduate programs, we have over 250 different programs that we offer. So ranging from engineering, fine arts, business, communications, um, health sciences, you name it, there's probably something at Ohio University that fits what you might wanna do with your future. And we also have a strong commitment to undergraduate research, as I mentioned earlier. This is something that we don't reserve just for our masters and our PhD students. We want you as an undergraduate student to become part of the research opportunities at Ohio universities. So you can have those experiences on your resume and have those as part of your overall learning experience. 
Now, even though we are a larger size university, our class sizes are kept intentionally small and our student to faculty ratio is kept quite low, as you can see, 16 to one for our size university, that's pretty impressive. And our faculty are here on campus because they want to teach and impact our students, both inside the classroom and through their research and their creative activity. Now, I said we didn't like to brag, but we do still have a lot to be very proud of. Um, we've got high ranking programs in journalism and engineering and fine arts, um, you know, with so many more. There's not a bad program among the bunch. And among our alumni, we have a Nobel Prize winner and 45 Pulitzer Prize winners as well. So really great um, alumni coming out of Ohio University having done some amazing things. Now, our commitment to undergraduate research and innovation is something that really does define us at Ohio. It's, as I said, not just for graduate students. And we have all the resources and facilities to make this all possible for you. So just to give you a, a small taste, we've got amazing cutting edge labs and facilities across the curriculum. But um, from our grid lab, which is pictured here on this slide, um, it's got extensive VR, AR, and stop motion capture equipment. We've got our own particle accelerator if you're into physics and um, astrophysics uh, to our Shea Sales Center. Now the Shea Sales Center actually boasts a nearly 100% job placement rate among its participants. So these are just a, a small sampling of some of the resources that we have available to you as an undergraduate student. And you get to research with renowned faculty who are working on projects like mapping the expanding universe or studying global, global warming at the South Pole. The kind of faculty were, are featured in things, places like National Geographic and Time Magazine. So really cutting edge stuff. In terms of campus life, uh, Ohio University is an extremely active and engaged campus. And we know that what you do outside the classroom is what really rounds out your education. So we provide lots of ways to get involved. The best ways to gain experience and get involved is through student organizations. And of course, that's something that most universities have. Not all of them have over 600 of them. So we've got plenty to choose from, whether it's something that's social, cultural, academic, rela academically related, sports related, you name it, we've got it. So you really wanna make sure that you're making plans to be involved on campus. Um, if you've been involved in volunteer activities during your time in high school, or if you wanna try that out, we've got lots of opportunities for that. And even though you'll already be studying abroad, um, you can still take advantage of our hundreds of study away options for a summer or a semester or a winter break. Um, and those are throughout the United States as well as on six continents throughout the world. So lots of different options available for continuing to gain a more global experience throughout your undergraduate studies. Now, if you're into sports, we're ready for you. Um, Ohio University is an NCAA, NCAA Division I school. And so our students are guaranteed admission to our home varsity events at no additional charge, which is kind of fun. We've got a fantastic cheering section for our Ohio Bobcats, and you'll definitely want to be part of that. Um, if you're into something a little bit less competitive than the varsity level sports, we've got over 50 club and intramural sports teams as well. So just about anybody can get involved in that kind of activity. Now, you may only be preparing to start your college journey right now, but you still want to be looking ahead because as your parents will probably tell you, the most important thing about the university experience are the outcomes. And Ohio really ranks well when it comes to outcomes. As a matter of fact, 93% of our students are employed or pursuing further education within one year of graduation. And there's a lot of really great reasons for that. One of them is our award-winning career network. Um, we take leadership and de leadership development and career planning, and we put them together into a set of services that you can start taking advantage of from day one of your studies. We don't want you to wait until your senior year when you think it's time to start scrambling to find a job. We want you using those resources throughout your undergraduate career so that you are getting ready throughout that time and at the end are ultimately prepared for finding that job. Um, 
and the other thing is that our support, our career services with a career network are there for you for life. It's not just for you as an undergraduate student, but as an alumni as well, you can use those services. So if it's time to find a new job placement, if it's time to search for a different type of career, our career network will be there to support you. Another really key component of life at Ohio University is our residential campus. And you're going to be living and learning in one of our 30 plus residence halls for your first two years of undergraduate study. And that really is the best way for you to become fully integrated into the university community. So there's a variety of different floor plans to meet your living preferences. Um, and we have more than 6,000 students living on campus and the campus is really the, the hub of activity. So for that reason, about 90% of students stay in Athens on the weekends and hang around campus. We've got specialized living experiences like gender inclusive housing, honors housing, women's leadership housing, substance free, you, lots of different choices. And another thing that's important to know is that our residence halls are also intentionally kept quite small. So you're not going to find any big high rise style um, apartment complexes on campus, because we are very adamant about the fact that by keeping up the community smaller, you're going to be making those strong connections that are going to stick with you throughout university and beyond. Now, food is always an important thing to talk about, um, and you'll be able to get all of your food needs taken care of through um, out your time at Ohio University with no problem whatsoever. One of the things that's really a kind of important and interesting about our food services at Ohio University is that unlike a lot of large institutions, we don't outsource our food services to a large corporation. We do all of our food service and food preparation on campus with a lot of locally sourced ingredients as well. So it's really a part of our Ohio community process, this whole um, dining experience. And that also means that our culinary services, because we do this in house, whatever sort of um, dietary or religious or allergy restrictions or dining preferences you may have, we can work with you to accommodate those. Um, it's one of the reasons probably that we have been ranked in the top 10 healthiest colleges in the US. Speaking of health, want to talk about health and wellness a little bit. And we've got so much going on for you to keep um, healthy in mind, body, and spirit. So we have our Ping Recreation Center, which is one of the largest student recreation centers in the United States, um, with everything from indoor tracks, all sorts of courts, um, 36 foot climbing wall, you name it, we've got the resources there at the Ping Center. We have an aquatic center with an Olympic sized pool. We have bird ice arena, and yes, we do have club ice hockey. Um, we, as far as health services go, we have our own on-campus campus care and urgent care, as well as counseling and psychological services. And a new feature that we've introduced is well-being coaching, so that if you're feeling like you're not quite, you know, cutting it when it comes to taking care of yourself, we'll get help you get back on track in that way as well. Now we're gonna move real quickly here to talk a little bit about the application process. So you know what you need to do to become part of Ohio University. So let's get started with that. In terms of the application process, it's pretty simple. Um, we are members of Common App. So you can choose to apply either through the Common application or through our own homegrown alternate online application. No preference as to whichever is best for you. Now, we are looking for a minimum GPA equivalent of a 2.8 on a 4.0 scale. So just above um, a B average would be what we're looking for for most students. Um, and we do need to see your transcripts from all your high school in order to be able to um, look at your application. If you're from one of the Francophone regions, if you're from Quebec, then we also do require proof of English proficiency, which can be done through um, TOEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, or if you want to um, submit SAT or ACT scores. Now, when it comes to SAT or ACT, we are actually a test optional school. We went test optional in 2020, and we're going to remain that way. So if you want to submit test scores, if you've taken one of the exams, SAT or ACT, you're welcome to do that. 
if you haven't, there is absolutely no penalty for not taking that. You will still be considered for all of the different options available at Ohio. Okay, so now that you know how all that works, um, let's talk about our overall value and our commitment to delivering what we say is the highest return on experience. And one of the ways we do that is through our Ohio Guarantee Plus. The Guarantee Plus is a comprehensive tuition fee and cost guarantee, which was actually the first of its kind in the state of Ohio and still the most comprehensive here as well. Basically, what it means is you have a 0% increase in tuition and most fees throughout your four years as an undergraduate student at Ohio University. So that means a couple of different things. It makes financial planning a lot easier because you are going to know right from the outset exactly what your costs are going to be for your entire undergraduate degree. It also means that if you um, obtain merit-based scholarships, which I'll talk about in a minute, those are going to maintain their value over those four years as well. So it's a really helpful tool in making your college plans and um, financial plans as you go into this process. As far as what our tuition and fees do look like, um, this is an overview of our current year's tuition and fees, um, and that's the amount that you would need to show for in order for us to issue you an I-20. Um, so that's $40,591 for the academic year. Um, and I, as I said, with the Ohio Guarantee Plus, those rates will stay locked in for all four years of your undergraduate study. And of course, the most important thing that you're gonna to wanna to hear about is scholarships. So before we wrap up, I'll tell you a little bit about scholarships. First of all, um, we offer some generous merit-based scholarships for international students. And those include the Ohio Excellence Award, um, which is up to $6,500 per year, and the Ohio Trustee Award, um, which the amount varies, but is averages, it averages about $4,000. And we try and make it as easy as possible for you to get these scholarships. And for that reason, no extra application is required. Once you complete your application to Ohio University and are admitted, you will automatically be considered for these scholarships. In addition to those um, general merit-based scholarships, we also have a couple more specific ones where you can get some additional funds. So if you're interested in engineering and you're a really outstanding student, our Russ College of Engineering and Technology has some additional funds available. Or if you're into fine arts, our College of Fine Arts also has talent scholarships available. Um, and for those, you would need to submit um, portfolio for review or an audition, but that again is part of the admission process, so nothing extra to submit in order to be um, considered for those awards. So that it is what I'm going to give you for today. Um, I hope that has given you some really good information. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave you here with my contact information as well. So there's that. If you would like to reach out to me at any time, please feel free via email or WhatsApp. Um, I'm available either way. And if you haven't already stopped by the booth to talk to me, please come and do that now because I'd really enjoy talking to you and answering any questions that you might have. Thanks so much.